And Solar Orbiter will be the first time that we send a satellite out to take images of the sun's poles. And in addition, getting the first ever data of the polar magnetic field. And we believe that this really holds the keys to unraveling the mysteries of the sun's activity cycle. And uh, in addition, we will also monitor the far side of the sun, which we cannot see from Earth, and combine that with data from satellites and ground-based telescopes to, to provide a full 3D view of our star. Sometimes in this continually flowing soup, we see these um, very energetic kind of explosions on the sun. We call them coronal mass ejections, and we see them embedded in the solar wind. When they arrive here at Earth, they can really disrupt our technology. They can cause problems for GPS, for communications, and of course, for our astronauts. Uh, we, we worry and we want to protect our astronauts. The uh, solar wind can even cause issues for them even while they're in our protective magnetic field. And so as NASA moves forward to return to the moon, to Mars and beyond with our Artemis program, things, missions like Solar Orbiter joining our fleet become really, really critical.